Hello, my dear students. How are you all? I am fine. I am Khandakar Fazle Rabbi, lecturer, Department of Chemistry, Milestone College, Uttara. My dear students, during this pandemic situation, welcome you all to our online chemistry class. Today, we discuss about some creative question from chemistry second paper, chapter 2, Organic Chemistry. My dear students, uh, this is our first term. Here, given methyl iodide reacts with sodium by the presence of I ether and it produces P. And this methyl iodide reacts with magnesium and dry ether, it produces A. And when A reacts with water, then it produces Q. When A reacts with methanol, it produces X. When A reacts with ethanol, then it produces Y. And when A reacts with propanone, it produces Z. Now, my dear students, our first question is P and Q are homologue each other. Explain, my dear students. According to this stem, here this is P and this is Q. My dear students, when methyl iodide is dissolved in dry ether and metallic sodium, it produces. sodium and dry ether it produces ethane ethane this is ethane and when this methyl iodide reacts with magnesium metal and dry ether, then it produces CH3I reacts with magnesium and dry ether, it produces methyl magnesium iodide and when this methyl magnesium iodide is hydrolyzed then it produces methane It produces methane. My dear students, according to the stem, this is P and this is Q. So, our question was P and Q are homologue each other my dear students from the above reaction we see that p is ethane and q is methane and their general formula is C n H two n plus two, and they have the difference uh, of methylene group. So we can say that these two compounds are homologue each other. 
my dear students our next question is analyze with equation how to differentiate among x y and z of the stem my dear students according to the stem methyl iodide reacts with metallic magnesium presence of dry ether it produce methyl magnesium iodide that means this is a and this a reacts with methanol c h c h o thanol that means h c o h this is methanol when reacts with C H three M G I then this methyl group attached with the carbon of carbonyl group and this electron shifts to oxygen and here negative this is oxygen is negative and magnesium is positive and then it produce H C H C three O M G I this compound is hydrolyzed that means H plus plus OH minus this is water water and in this compound this is minus negatively charged oxygen and magnesium is positively charged then this H plus attached with this negative and this positive is attached with this hydroxyl ion and then we get my dear students then we get H C H CH three O H plus M G O H I and this compound is ethanol. This is ethanol. That means this is CH three. C H two O H. So we can say that the compound X is ethanol. Now, my dear students. Here we see that in this is ethanol and when this ethanol reacts with A that means methyl magnesium iodide C A three C double bond O H this is ethanol. And 
this ethanol CH3MGI and in this compound when the electron shifts to oxygen this is negative and carbon is positive and in this methyl magnesium iodide is negative and magnesium is positive so this negatively charged methyl attached with this carbon and this oxygen is bonded with magnesium and then it produces CH3 C H O M G I and C H3. My dear students, when this compound is hydrolyzed, that means H plus plus OH minus this is water and in this compound this is negative oxygen is negative and magnesium is positive so this positively charged hydrogen is bonded with negatively charged oxygen and this magnesium is bonded with the hydroxyl ion and then my dear students we get the compound CH3CHCH3OH plus mg o h i and my dear students this is propanol 2 propanol 2 and we can write like this is 3 c h c h 3 O H. This is propanol 2. So, my dear students, we can say that Y represents propanol 2. Now, my dear students, when this propanol reacts with A then we get this is propanol CH3CO CH3 and this propanol reacts with methyl magnesium iodide here the electron shifts to oxygen and it it is negatively charged and this carbon is positively charged and in methyl magnesium iodide this is magnesium positive and this is negative this negatively charged methyl attached with the positively charged carbon and this oxygen attached with magnesium and it produces CH3 C CH3 CH3 OMG I and when this compound is hydrolyzed that means H2O 
H2O means H plus plus OH minus then in this compound this is negative and magnesium is positive and positively charged hydrogen ion bonded with the negatively charged oxygen and this magnesium reacts with this hydroxyl ion and my dear students uh, then we get CH3 C CH3 CH3 OH plus Mg OH I so the compound is 2-methyl this is 2-methyl 2 methyl propanol 2 and this compound represents Z my dear students in this term Z is CH3 C CH3 CH3OH that means 2 methyl propanol 2 my dear students now we can say that this is 1 degree or primary alcohol this is 2 degree or secondary alcohol and Z is 3 degree or tertiary alcohol. So, I repeat again X is 1 degree alcohol, Y 2 degree alcohol and Z 3 degree alcohol. Now, my dear students, our question was analyze with equation how to differentiate among x y z and uh, according to the term we can see that x is ethanol that means 1 degree alcohol y is propanol 2 that means uh, 2 degree alcohol and z is 3 methyl propanol 2 that means this is 3 degree alcohol and to differentiate these compounds uh, we use uh, Lucas reagent. Lucas reagent uh, is anhydrous uh, zinc chloride, anhydrous uh, zinc chloride, and concentrated HCl. That means the mixture of anhydrous zinc chloride and concentrated HCl is uh, known as uh, Lucas reagent. When 3 degree alcohol reacts with uh, Lucas reagent, uh, that means uh, a concentrated ACL, here zinc chloride is used as catalyst, and uh, this 3 degree alcohol reacts with uh, concentrated ACL and uh, it produces white PPT immediately. And uh, when 2 degree alcohol reacts with the uh, Lucas reagent uh, then uh, white PPT is formed after 5 to 10 minutes and my dear students at uh, room temperature primary alcohol um, produce uh, no PPT that means no precipitation but at a high temperature after heating uh, it uh, forms alkyl halide very slowly. So, we can say that um, by Lucas reagent, we can differentiate uh, 1 degree, 2 degree and uh, 3 degree alcohol.